some years ago, I was at a youth retreat where they had Now, a one of the great questions that people got the creator that the obvious illustration. If you were looking down or Jesus from a high line, does he not have an The question is sometimes asked, are there mistakes in the Bible? Of course there are, plenty of them. Let me give you a few examples. In the opening pages of the Bible, we're confronted by the serious mistake Adam and Eve made when they believed the lie of Satan and disobeyed God. Satan said they would, quote, become as gods, their independence from God somehow elevating them. But the reverse was the result, affecting the whole human race. By one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. So death passed on all, for all have sinned. That's Romans 5, verse 12. We have therefore all broken God's perfect law and stand guilty before him. There are mistakes like that in every book of the Bible. The rebellion at the Tower of Babel, the sin of Sodom, the rejection of Jesus the Messiah, and scores of others. I could show that the Bible is full of mistakes, though not the kind that are any help to the skeptic. These blunders are left on record as a warning that if you despise the grace of God, ignore his book, and reject the work of Christ when he died on the cross for our sins, if in fact you make the same mistakes as those recorded in the Bible, God's judgment awaits you. What a desperate thing to learn too late the horrendous mistake of treating lightly God's love and mercy. Quote, Do you despise the riches of his goodness, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? Paul wrote to the Romans in chapter 2, verses 4 to 6. Let me mention one other mistake. This man, Paul, who wrote the book of Romans, which I've quoted twice, was once a murderer and blasphemer, though a religious man. Yet God in his grace showed Paul his errors. Paul turned from his sin to God, was forgiven and saved. Make no mistake about it. If you, quote, seek the Lord while he may be found, he will abundantly pardon. Isaiah 55, 6 and 7. How can God righteously do this? God's Son, the Lord Jesus, agreed to offer himself to first die the death we all deserved as a consequence of our sins. Then he rose in triumph over death itself and now offers us this new kind of life, eternal life, as a free gift. Here is the offer in God's word in Romans 6.23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. What is a gift? It's unmerited, undeserved, it's free to the recipient at the expense of the giver. And it's yours for the taking. Don't make life's most serious mistake. Receive him and new life in him right now. <laughs>